is very much a part of our culture. Today, we are well aware that the basic foundation of a growing generation is good nutrition and we have to take extra care to select food that is good, tasty and more importantly, rich in nutrition. However, the blind infatuation of the younger generation to fast foods has completely changed food habits and thereby the very nature of our lifestyle. wondering that what I said fantastic right believe me it's something that is very much available in Kerala oyster in Malayalam it is called Muriyarchi apart from its fantastic taste it's something which is having high nutritional value as compared to any other seafood which is available today this oyster farming is done in many coastal areas of Kerala under the proper technical guidance of CMFRI, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Since it is treated, cultivated and yield in a good professional way helps in the production of high quality oysters. So today we are going to show you tasty, exotic and delicious preparation of these oysters. So, Let's see. So friends, this incredibly tasty dish is prepared for you by Chef Joe Swerky of CGH Earth Groups of Hotel. He is here to show you how this heavenly tasty dish is prepared at your homes. So let me welcome him. Hi sir, how are you? Great. So we are here to prepare the exotic dish, right? Before we move on to the preparation, let me ask you how this, what are the values of this oyster? Well, oyster is very much an integral part of Kerala, but unfortunately many of us are not aware of it. Although in many other parts of the world, especially in the western world, this is put to a very great use for gourmet food, for tasty food, for the health benefits and many such things which we have actually getting uh, less value of. This is available next door in our waters plenty and it has got great value not only from the uh, nutritional point of view, it has got great value from the taste point of view. The, the only difficulty is that we have not developed a taste, taste for raw oysters. So let's see how a live oyster can be opened to be consumed in a raw form. This oyster is live. It's a living animal. It lays, stays life outside the water for quite some, quite some time. And besides, this is a depurated oyster. Let's open this. To open this, we need a tool called the oyster knife, which has got a very sharp edge. You purse it through the hinge of it, and then you open it, yeah. and then make sure that both the tendons, which is attaching to both sides of this, uh, uh, this particular shell, is removed, mm -hmm. and then eaten. Directly. Eaten directly? Uh, directly. Okay. Yeah, I'm that's going to show you. Please know that you have to eat rawly, that's directly just after opening the shell. For which we require a tool called the oyster knife, okay. which has got a very sharp tip. And we need a cloth to hold it firm because otherwise it is quite unsafe. And this has got a, the oyster has got a cup at the bottom and a flat shell on the top. So put a cup downward, I mean at the, at the bottom part, mm -hmm. pierce this knife at the hinge of it, then twist it, open it, come back to the, ba to the back of it where there is a muscle that holds the meat onto the shell. Cut, it, cut that and then we are ready. I am going to demonstrate not only cutting this, I am going to demonstrate how I am going to eat it. Yeah. Now it is pierced in, make a firm grip. And there is also, a, uh, you can see the meat, it's a quite a big oyster. Yeah, it's some fluffy oyster. Whereas the European oysters are much smaller than this because that is grown in cold waters. We have got the added advantage here because 
our warm, sea is warm, our backwaters are warm, therefore it grows much faster. So to get this kind of oyster in Europe is a luxury. Now you can do the bottom, yeah. there, there's a muscle which touches here. Yeah, loosening it, right? Loosening it. Yeah. So we can say that the shell now, is now containing the meat and the what some water fluid is also there. And then you consume it. Consume it by just putting little lime juice. Then those those who want it put a little Tabasco sauce. Tabasco sauce. Yeah. Okay. And then and just suck it in. He's drinking the water. Oh, what is the taste? It's fantastic. But you must have a taste developed for this. Okay. It may sound a little strange in our part of the world. Eating raw, right? Eating raw. But this oyster liquid, which yeah. is otherwise called the nectar of the oyster, okay. is so tasty and so benevolent with lots of vitamins and minerals. Okay. It really makes you feel healthy and will definitely improve your uh, health. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. So that was that was great. If you don't mind, can you please give me a chance to taste it? Definitely, why not? You want a big one or a small one? As you wish. <laughs> yeah, the shell is open. I'm well prepared to have it. The shell is open. I can see the fluids inside which is having high nutrition value, the nectar of the shell. Yeah, this is a lemon wedge. We can skew just two drops, not more than that. Let's taste the oyster. Then if you want a little hot, you can put this Tabasco sauce, just one drop. Okay. Yep. So, so friends, here I am going to consume it. I have to hold this, hold this yes. thing like this, right? So. I have to, after putting it into my mouth, I have to, I have to suck it down. Suck you it don't down. Have to chew it. No need to chew. No. Hold it close to your mouth. Okay. Then? Suck it and let the oyster crawl down your throat yeah. because it is half life. Mmm. It just tastes like sea. See, first you must imagine, see, all tastes are perceptions. Okay. Hmm? You go to a toddy shop, you find the hot chili is the taste. Yeah. You come to a restaurant like this, you will find the, the meat or the fish or the vegetable is the primary flavor. So, imagine the taste of this particular meat in your mind. So, I am imagining. Okay. It is your thoughts that makes it tasty. First I thought, okay, this particular meat grown in our natural water with all the greatness of the water and the, and the nutrition that Mother Earth or the sea water has given. And it tastes, uh, doesn't taste chilli hot or it doesn't taste any of the spices that we have. But it tastes oyster and that is a taste. 